What's going on everyone? My name is Obi and welcome back to Courtside Financial. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. And also make sure you hit that like button because it really does go a long way in helping out the channel. So I told you guys yesterday was the last day for the Weeble promo. Well, they have a new promo going on now from February 2nd to March 31st. When you open up your new brokerage account, you'll receive one free stock valued anywhere from $2.50 to $250. And when you make that initial deposit of $100 or more, you'll receive another free stock, and this free stock will be valued anywhere from $8 to $1,600. Lastly, cryptocurrency is now available on Weeble, so you can trade cryptocurrency on the platform with zero commission. Today we're going to be talking about Tough Built Industries, ticker symbol TBLT. It's currently 5.39 p.m. Eastern Time here in Michigan and the stock is currently trading at $1.27. It's up, it's down 10.07% for the day and it's up 1.60% in the after hours. So on Saturday, January 27th, Tough Built Industries announced their Amazon sales for the fiscal year of 2020 just ahead of their Q4 earnings report, which is expected to be March 29th, uh, 2021. So in previous videos, I actually did a little bit of DD on their Amazon sales, and I actually said that I expect Q4 2020 to be their biggest sales quarter to date. For the most part, a lot of their products have seen increases in price, so there's a lot of demand for Tough Builds products right now is what that tells me, just having a general idea of things. So the end of 2020 seemed to be a good time in terms of sales. If you haven't got a chance to check out that video yet, I recommend you go back and watch it. I think there's some really good information in there and it kind of supplements this one. Okay, so when they announced their gross sales for 2020 in regards to Amazon, Tough Bill Industries announced that they did around $7.04 uh, million dollars in gross sales. And this is massive for multiple reasons, but brief pause real quick. If you're not already signed up, there's a link in the description to join the completely free courtside financial discord where you can chat with many investors who bring great investing ideas to the table. So again, the link is in the description. And if you want to join that discord, I recommend you go for it. I told you guys in previous videos that I expect demand in Q4 to be irregularly high, making for the company's best quarter ever right after they just reached profitability in Q3. So let's backtrack here so we can put that $7.04 million in context. In Q1, they did around 1.2 million on Amazon. In Q2, they did around 1.35 million on Amazon. In Q3, they did around 2 million on Amazon. So do the math, and that puts them around 2.5 million in Q4 for Amazon when you factor in that throughout the year, they did that $7.04 million annually. So Q4 on Amazon was obviously their biggest quarter yet. That's the first reason why this news is really bullish. The second reason why this news is really bullish is because that's just Amazon. The business has other distribution channels. The business has physical distribution channels as well. In Q4, they launched a ton of new products nationwide at Lowe's. They also sell at places like Home Depot. On Lowe's and at Home Depot, there's very good reviews on their products. Lots of reviews with four and a half to five stars. So we got to remember that in November, Maxim Equity Research Group gave this company a price target of $2.50 which suggests more than a 2x upside from the current prices that it is at today. And part of the basis was that was because of the partnership that they have with Lowe's and also of uh, the partnership that they have with Tractor Supply. So we'll see how much these Amazon sales on top of their other distribution channels really contribute to gross sales and of course revenue. These things are obviously positive catalysts for their Q4 earnings report and I still believe that Q4 is going to be their biggest quarter yet. The stock dropped recently because they announced that they would be raising capital by selling around $100 million worth of shares at some point. They did this via shelf offering. You can read the S3 SEC filing. This just means that the company you know, has the right to raise the capital in the future 
and they put it out there so whenever they feel like the timing is right it doesn't mean that it's going to happen today or next week but they will be raising you know that 100 million dollars worth of capital at some point now is this a bad thing I've talked about dilution plenty of times on this channel, so we'll get to that in a second, but let's actually uh, get the rundown on some of the things that the capital is going to support. This company has plans of global expansion into new markets like Mexico, Latin America, the Middle East, and South Africa. Obviously, expanding into new markets is going to take capital. It's not something feasible for a company of this size without raising capital. Aside from that, they plan on launching a plethora of new tools in the first half of 2021, also going to demand more capital. And most exciting for me is the company's venture into the technology space. In the first quarter of 2021, they intend to launch their T55 rugged mobile phones and earbud headphones, as well as the T-Dock attachable battery, tri-lens camera, tough shield cover, and accessories. In the first quarter of 2021, they also intend to launch the following accessories car charger, QI charger, car mounts, earbud packs. Also in the first quarter of 2021, they intend to launch applications for mobile phones relating to the following topics. National building codes, inspection booking, labor ready, estimating apps and programs, structural engineers, architects, building plans, workers comp, equipment insurance, project insurance and bonds, vehicle insurance, liability insurance, umbrella insurance, collection agencies, construction loans, small business loans, job listings, and tool exchange. So they're breaking into some new markets here, and I think that the intersection of technology is really what's going to set this company apart from their competitors and also give them room for more growth than I had even envisioned when I first invested in this company. So the company is growing, and raising capital isn't a bad thing to me. It's only going to help them grow even more and actually sustain the growth. Same story here pretty much with every good growth stock in my opinion. So I really like this company. I don't have anything bad to say about it right now. I wanna know what you guys think. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment down below. I wanna know what you think about Tough Bill Industries. That's gonna be it for this video. We've got more videos rolling out this week on companies that I'm invested in. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.